Hey everybody, when my team asked me to do a podcast about the Hollywood Winter's Circle Academy and to talk to you guys about it, I was like, gosh, I, I wonder how I can say this in a way where you're going to actually understand the magnitude of what we've created at the Winter's Circle. And I guess I, I think the best way to say it is, is to quote Kenzo Lee, who is a working actor and who comes in and teaches at Hollywood Winter's Circle Academy. He said he wished he had this course when he started. It took him 10 years to learn what we teach in the Winter Circle course. And I totally understand that. He was teaching, uh, you know, every week we do live coaching sessions with our actors. And on Friday, he was leading the session. And he was telling everyone that he's been working at being an actor for 18 years. And the first 10 years, he spent learning how to do it. So I, I guess I could say that what we do at HWC is we... We take everything that you need to know and we concentrate it into one year of training so that you don't have to spend 10 years trying to figure it out on your own. And when you come into Winter Circle, wherever you are in your career, one year later, you have incredible marketability, materials, resources, a game plan, and you have been coached and guided by agents, managers, casting directors, and working actors. And where you start when you start HWC and where you finish are completely different places. It is ultimately a complete game changer. And the reason I created it is I didn't want you to spend the 10 years that I know it takes to figure this crazy business out. Because I've been a manager, I've been an agent, I have turned down more actors than I've signed. And I've turned them down because they have no idea what they're doing. Their packages are not good enough to stand out of the thousands of people submitting for those roles. I know, I know that their packages cannot get the attention of an agent, cannot get the attention of casting directors, so there's no point signing them because, you know, as a manager or an agent, we're trying to find actors who are ready to work. They're like at the professional level, and I think my friend Kurt, you said it the best in his YouTube channel, uh, and if you're not following Kurt Yu, Yu's YouTube channel, like totally go check it out. Kurt Yu, Y-U-E. He's a working actor too. He comes and teaches at HWC. But he was saying, when you go out for a, a manager or an agent, you're saying, I'm a professional, I'm ready to work. I couldn't agree with him more. A manager or an agent makes money when you, the actor, books a job. Period. That's how they get paid. So if you are not at the professional level and your materials are not at the professional level, you don't need a professional agent or manager, not yet. So a lot of times actors, when they start out, they're like, okay, hi, I wanna be an actor, I have no experience yet, or I've done a couple student play, student films and plays, and I want an agent or manager. Well, you're like totally not ready for that yet because you're not functioning at the professional level that would require you to have an agent or manager yet, right? New actors, when they start out, they always use the Actors Access profile and they put up two photos because those are the free ones, right? I put up two photos. And then they put up some footage that came from a student film. And then they try to get an agent or manager and get absolutely nowhere. And they keep sending that material out over and over and over and nothing, nothing happens. What's wrong? Why am I not getting feedback from agents and managers? Why am I not getting signed? Well, I look at your package in one second and I tell you, you don't have enough headshots. They're not strong enough. They don't match your type. Your resume is formatted wrong. Your clips suck. And you need totally different clips that match your types. And what you're doing is putting together whatever footage you have from these low budget starter projects and you're trying to compete for television roles at the competitive professional level. It's not gonna happen. And so what the actor does is they, they spin their wheels for several years not understanding how to put together a professional package and get you know completely disillusioned. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people come to Hollywood to make it and leave because you don't get where you want to go. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what to do next. You don't know how to build a career. So you get burned out. You get disappointed, frustrated. You're not getting auditions. You can't get representation. You're not getting callbacks and you don't know why. And eventually you just think it's you and that you're not good enough and you quit. And you give up on your dreams and you give up on your, your career and you end up settling for a life that is not what you were intended to do. And I see this happen thousands and thousands of times because look, I think literally 50,000 new actors a year come to LA to make it <clears throat> 49,000 go home and I was like god almighty uh, uh, artists are so friggin important we can't just let them go home we've got to help them understand 
how the business works, what they need to change. And I'll, I'll ask you this question. If what you were doing right now was working, you'd already be where you want to be. If what you were doing right now is working, you would already be where you want to be. But you're not. So that means what you're doing right now is not working. So when I created Hollywood Winter Circle Academy, I was like, all right, let me take an actor from scratch. Like when I'm managing, if an actor walks in my office and says, hello, I would like to be an actor. I <laughs> so you have taking acting classes? No. <laughs> okay, how are you gonna be an actor without acting classes? I, I don't even get that. Let's just pretend you're that new. Like you don't even know you need acting classes. <laughs> Let's just pretend. All right, what acting classes would a brand new actor need? Let's write them out. What would they need? Who should they train with for those? Let's write that out. Let's make a whole list of every coach that would be right for those kind of classes. Great. Now, they need online profiles so they can start submitting themselves. Okay, how do they do that? Let's create instructions for how to create all their online profiles. But just creating profiles is not the same as doing them great. It's not the same as making them competitive. So let's teach them how to make those profiles really competitive. Now, when the actors starting to submit themselves, they're trying to get anything they can get, any kind of role they can get. But that's not how we sell to network television. We don't go in there and say, hello, I can play anything. When a manager or agent works with an actor, we hone our client's type and we get very specific about the kind of roles they can play and we make sure their package reflects that so that we can pitch casting exactly for roles that fit the actor. And you have to learn how to do that. So we teach that in HWC. So now you've got the right training. Now you've got the right online profiles. You've got an understanding of your type. Now we have to put that into headshots that match your type and clips. Now this is all the work of a developmental manager, okay? And if you're, if you're new to the business, the difference between agents and managers, agents are like employment agencies. They find you jobs. And managers are like strategists. They figure out the long-term goal where you're trying to go, develop the plan for how to get there, and then help you achieve those things. And most managers are not developmental. They are looking for actors that already have TV credits, TV co-stars, guest stars, series regulars, and they wanna manage their careers. But there are a handful of developmental managers, and that means they specialize and developing the actor and making them marketable. And that's me, that's what I've done. That's, that's the kind of manager I am. I develop actors from scratch, get them working on TV. Also, some managers have a small section of their roster that's developmental, which means 95% of their actors are working, but maybe 5% they are developing. It's like a pet project, you know? And then they're hoping that they're gonna get some luck with those people. And they like the process of developing that 5%, but they know it takes years to get them working so they can't make a living that way. So they have the majority of their roster are booking, working actors, and a little 5% they develop. Now what I used to do was I'd sign all developmental actors. Why? Because I never used the money from my management company to pay my bills. I have my own money and I am pretty well off long before I became a manager. So I was not dependent upon the company paying my bills. I could take all the time I want. And so I developed actors from scratch because that's what I like the most. I didn't need to take on actors that are already working to pay my bills because my bills are already paid, right? So I had the luxury of taking on brand new actors and developing them from scratch and then getting them working on TV. And nothing turns me on more than that. So I did that and almost every single actor that I worked with worked on television. Every single one almost. Maybe a couple didn't, but 99% of my actors would start working on TV. I'm very, very good at what I do. So when I started Hollywood Winter Circle Academy, I just took the techniques that I used to work with brand new actors and I put it in an online course. And I said, here's what you do. Now, in addition to that, come in live every week and our team will talk with you directly. Agents, managers, casting directors, working actors. We're gonna look at your package, look at your headshots, look at your clips, look at your training, look at your audition tapes, look at your self tapes, look at your demo reels and correct you on everything. 
And we're going to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing every single day. And you're moving forward in the right direction. Every single week, you're going in the right direction. And it is amazing what the actors are accomplishing. They are working in television. Of course, I'm not surprised because that's what I do. But I love watching it happen. And I love watching them see it happen, right? So we've had actors on uh, Mr. Mayor with Ted Danson. Um, the new Mayim Bialik show, Wu-Tang Clang this week, Shannon Lennon was on uh, Wu-Tang. He was on a couple episodes of General Hospital. We've had actors on the Umbrella Academy, um, the 4400, uh, FBI. Oh my God, I can't even tell you how many shows. I can't even remember them right now. But tons and tons of films, tons and tons of commercials, making money as an actor and represented by agents and managers, getting signed all over the place. Because if you take the right steps in your acting career and you're not just guessing you can go from a to b in expedient direct efficient manner so that's kind of what hwc does it takes you from like totally not knowing what you're doing and teaching you exactly what to do and then you have to do the work like myself and all the people that teach at hwc we can't make you do any of the work but we can tell you what work you have to do and if you do it you will get results, right? So that's kind of what HWC is about. And, and what I love about it is when you sign up for the course, you pay one price for the course. And I'm very transparent about that. This is not like you pay and pay and pay and pay and pay. It costs $749. It's one time or you can pay it in payment plans, but that's it. And you get one year of training, one year. So 52 weeks of professional, hands-on, in-person, on Zoom training on your career. That's unheard of. It's never been done before in the history of Hollywood. It's never been done. This program has never been done. And I love it. So you're getting expert guidance every single week for 52 weeks. Can you imagine where you would be if you had expert guidance for 52 weeks? Like where you would be one year from now? And a lot of actors are gonna join and sign up and they're gonna be in a completely different place in one year. And other actors are gonna be like, I don't need that. You know, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and hope it changes. And they're gonna be in the same place they were a year ago. And I'm sorry that actors wanna do that to themselves because I think actors are worth more. I think the actors are too important to like throw their dreams away or just, yeah, I just don't. I think time is too important. The time you're given in life is short and why would you waste it figuring out what we've already figured out for you? That makes no sense. And I always can tell you that successful people, all successful people have mentors. That's how they become successful. It used to be called apprenticeship. You know, if you want to be a baker, you go train under a baker. And a baker teaches you everything they know about baking. And then you know what they know. Then you add your own flair to it. And you open your own bakery. Why would you try to figure out how to be a baker from scratch? When you just go down to John and you say, hey, John, can I work in your bakery for a year? Sure, come on. Now in a year, you know everything that it took John 10 years to figure out. So that's what a mentor does. They elevate your game in the fastest possible way. And every president has coaches. They have, you know, strategists, coaches, you call them, uh, every CEO, Fortune 500 company. I mean, people don't rely on the steam of just their own brain because that would mean that the only thing you would accomplish is what you already know. And if what you already know has led you to where you are right now, you're going to need something somebody else knows to take you the rest of the way. And everything we learn in life comes from other people teaching us. We learn how to walk because other people teach us. We learn how to talk because other people teach us. We learn language because other people teach us. We learn to drive because someone else teaches us how. We even learn how to hold a spoon because someone else teaches us. So if you wanna be an actor, why would you try to learn how to be a working professional actor without someone teaching you how? Makes no sense. So I would encourage you guys to go check it out there's a free webinar. Hollywood Winter Circle Academy has a free webinar. Watch the webinar. You'll get an idea for the type of level of training that we're, that we're teaching. And if you sign up for the course and you're listening to this blog, I'm going to make it even less expensive for you. You can use a special code 
that I offer mostly to agents and managers when they when they refer their clients and when we do sales and things like that. But if you use the code 300 Wendy, 300 Wendy, W E N D Y, you can take $300 off. That means you're going to get one year of training for $449. It's stupid crazy. And and people think I'm crazy for offering that kind of, tr- you know, that kind of training for so little money, but it's because I want the actor to be able to afford it. I want every one of you to be able to afford it because you need it. And I want you to be successful. And the way that you pay me back for that, first of all, you can write that off on your taxes. And also think about this. You can write off everything on your taxes. If you didn't know this, your agent's commission, your manager's commissions, your acting classes, your headshot cost, the cost of the clothes you buy for headshots, your gas cost, your self-tape equipment, your backdrop, your your phone bill, your Netflix expense, everything, the HWC course, all of that is the cost of doing business and you are in business. So all of that can be written off on your taxes. And you just should really, really look into that, you know, get with an accountant to talk with you in your state about what things can be written off, but make sure that you use those tax breaks so that you don't have to pay taxes over all that stuff. You know, you're going to get a lot of discounts because of all that. It's so important to learn that this is a business and what you don't know can hurt you. So you can go to Hollywood Winter Circle Academy. And if you come join us, I'm going to put you to work. It's not, a, this is not like an overnight success. You know, you wake up tomorrow morning, you're a working actor, but I'm going to give you the greatest guidance you've ever had in your life. And if you do the work, you're going to have success. And I'm going to be so there for you, rooting you on. I love when I get texts from, <laughs> from excited actors, you know, I just booked this. I'm on set with that. Uh, I can't believe this. I never, I thought it, I just never really believed I'd be on TV. And now I am. I remember an actor sent me that text from the set of Chicago fire. Uh, William Jefferson, he he booked uh, he's booked a couple co-stars this year, and it's because of this program. And when he sends me text messages, it just makes me cry. And when all my actors send me text messages, it's like you know what, you're living your dream. I helped you do that. I'm giving my life to all of you actors to help you achieve what you are meant to do. The reason you are on the planet, I'm helping you achieve that. And I am honored and grateful to be a part of your journey. So come work with me and I'll see you in the next podcast. Follow me on Instagram. Join my Facebook group, Talent Managers for Actors, if you're not already there. And I'll see you on the next podcast. Love you guys.